All right, well, we'll now go on to our next team, which is the Lance Cruz North Crusaders. They dropped down from the red to the white after only one win in league play in the past two seasons. With some talent on the defensive side of the ball and some playmakers, LCN will be one of the favorites to challenge for the Mac White title. You know, I like our team. Our team is coming together during camp, and we're, we're really fast this year. Um, we got a lot of explosive players. On defense, we're going to have a really good, tough defense. Our defense line is pretty tough and pretty quick. I'm really excited about the year. We got some smart players too. Go. Hit it. Go, 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 go. You know, it was a great, great two years being up in the red. Uh, you really learn to win up there. Um, you, get, you take your lumps, um, but you also learn a lot of good stuff from what those programs do. And uh, coming down to the white, it's still going to be a tough white division. You got Gross Point South, Utica Ford, Utica, Frazier, and Anchor Bay. It's going to be really tough games. It's going to be a best white I've seen in a, in a long time so really excited about it I'm excited to play those guys and we, we haven't played a lot of them so they get to see our fast offense and our, and our cool defense you have to uh, just keep going every day day by day and you never know what's gonna happen because the way it's not just uh, easy it's not gonna be easy for us we're gonna have to continue to work hard just like we did in the red Go! Brendan Jackson's been with us for uh, two years now. This is his third year starting on varsity. He's our leader on defense. Uh, he plays middle linebacker, really good kid, um, really good talent. And then we got Jalen Allen, who's going to be our running back and our outside backer for us. Uh, fills that role last year that was voided from my track coming leaving. And then we got uh, Blake Daniels playing at quarterback. And our offensive line's going to be pretty good this year. We're pretty big. Um, and that's been the first time since I've been here. So we're really excited about it. This team, we're pretty young, but I think we're going to get the job done. You know, we got to a big team, pretty fast and tempo, so I think we're going to get, do a good job this year. You know, our linebacker core is really good. Our defensive line is really, really fast, and our and our O-line are big, and we can throw the ball around a little bit. Uh, I think it's going to be a really exciting year for offensively and defensively for us, so I think interior, we're, we're really strong this year, and that's a, that's a huge plus for us. We just want to win the white, win as many football games as possible. Our big goal is to win a state championship, but right now we're focusing on winning the white. <laughs> We talk about playing fast, playing hard, playing physical, you know, and, and how we've built it is, is really a ground up level and really taught the kids how to play football. You know, I actually just got a call yesterday. One of the kids went, went on to college and said, hey, coach, you guys practice just like just like our team. And it's kind of a nice thing. So it's really showing the kids how to how to practice, how to prepare. And, uh, you know, then, then on Friday nights, it's their game. Uh, you know, the ceiling is way up there, really high, um, but you know, week one, week two, you just got to go out week one and get that first W and then, then you can go on and go on. I mean, the, the ceiling's super high, but you know, on paper it looks great, but you never know. You just got to go out and play. All right, Brad, LCN drops down to the white this year. I think that's a great move for them, uh, looking at their team and how they finished the last couple years, you know, four and five season a year ago and no wins out of the red. So that, that shows you right there that they're winning their games in the non-league, just unable to get one within the league, and now dropping down the white. Not that they're going to be easy games, but I think what's going to happen is, is, is on paper they're more winnable games, possibly allowing them to get to that six-win total. Yeah, they really got beat up in the MAC red and uh, really took their lumps. We're competitive in year one, not so much last year. I think they took maybe a little bit of a step back but a much more comfortable and good fit in the Mac White. Yeah, let's take a look at their schedule right now, if we could. Uh, August 25th, they open up on the road at Waterford Mott, followed by another road game against uh, league opponent Utica Ford. Home against Anchor Bay on the 9th of September, then followed by road game against Frazier. And then they've got Lance Cruz at home, followed by a, a crossover against Eisenhower at home on September 30th. Road game against Utica, followed by the last two games of the year, which will be at home. Uh, at the end of October against Girls Point South and then Dakota. And, Brad, when you look at their schedule right off the bat, the things that really stand out is their first game and their last game because Waterford Mott should be a tough matchup for them on the road. Uh, and then you look at that last game of the year is Dakota. Again, if you're sitting there at five wins, you, know, you, you, you might want to get to six wins before going into that final game because they've had zero success against the code over yeah, here. Yeah, let's examine Waterford Mott for a second. It's always kind of hard to decipher what you're going to get out of an OAA team. We obviously don't get to see them much, but this is a Waterford Mott team that's made the playoffs the last two years. And, Jason, they averaged over 30 points per game offensively last year. That's going to be a tough one to start on the road for LCN. And then you mentioned that Dakota game. It's going to be tough, once again, for LCN to get to those six wins Will they qualify for the playoffs with five wins? It's going to be tough. 
Thankfully for them, their schedule, five games against teams that had 500 records or below last season. So some winnable games in their schedule. They just have to win them all in order to make the playoffs. Yeah, I think if you look at it, you know, they, like I said, they've, they've had the success in the non-league games. But now you look at this schedule, they got two crossover against red teams. Eisenhower, a team they've had success against the last two years, nearly beat them, like I mentioned before in the program uh, last season. Dakota's going to be tough. They have, you know, they had a close game with them up until about halftime last year, sure. and then uh, uh, you know a fumble at the goal line changed that whole game around, and Dakota ended up blowing them out in the second half. But uh, you don't want to put all your eggs in that basket and say we have to beat Dakota to get the six wins. When you look at it, uh, their first two games are going to be key. If they could somehow find a way to beat a Waterford Mott team, that would be huge because then Utica Ford, I think, is that other team in the MAC White that is going to challenge for the league title. It's sure. going to be a contender in the Mac White. I think it really comes down to three-team race in the White, which would be Lance Cruz North, Utica Ford, and Gross Point South. Uh, you know, flip a coin in those games. But uh, if you could find a way to somehow be 2-0 and coming home, now you're looking at Anchor Bay, Frazier, Lance Cruz, and those are three winnable games for them. Uh, and then, you know, you could be looking at Eisenhower. If, if things start rolling for them, you could be looking at a 5-0 and start against Eisenhower. So... You know, I think for them, they just have to, you know, again, take it week by week, but start off strong against Waterford Mott. And Coach Kinner mentioned that himself, that they need to start off strong. Yeah, you get to that 5-0 and record going into that Eisenhower game. All of a sudden, you're kind of playing with some house money and you're playing with some confidence. You never know. That game could be a little bit of a, an upset city for uh, Lance Cruz North if they're able to beat Eisenhower, but really some struggles against those two crossover teams in the MAC Red, uh, LCN. You know, two and sixteen all time against Ike and Dakota. Um, it's gonna be tough again, once again, for them to win those two crossover games. No doubt, no doubt. But they should have more success in the white, and sure. I, that's why I said I do like that move. Them dropping down from the red to white, I think it's gonna give them more opportunities to make the postseason, which is really what you want to do is get, just get into the playoffs and keep that program moving forward.